This is gonna look really good. Hey everybody, this is Dave with Aqualife Ponds. We are in Dana Point, California, and we're at a, a new property. It's really cool because this property's never been built on before. We're building a pond right here. Uh, it's got a wetland filter, really cool waterfall, uh, bridge going over it. It's three feet deep, and we've got an intake bay on the other side. I'm really excited um, to get this thing finished. Unfortunately, they want to finish the house before we really get to uh, fill it up, but um, these guys are gonna be finished in a, a couple days. But what you can tell right now is this is gonna be a wetland filter right here. And then we're gonna be building up uh, more berm around the, the wetland filter. And uh, what that does is it's essentially gonna filter this pond. And it's emulating natural wetland filtration processes. And they're incredibly powerful filters. They work really well. It just looks like a, a lot of rock and dirt right now. But that's what they often look like um, towards the, the end of a job. Until all the landscape comes in, like you go on our website and you see killer pictures pictures and it's all beautiful and lush and stuff like that it's usually six twelve months after we've finished the, the project but uh, it's cool to see the project at this stage um, I like seeing all stages of it but uh, it's really cool to see it from the very beginning and just successively throughout the project so let's check it out so this is gonna be all planted up right here it's gonna be a waterfall um, what you can see bunch of wires this is all low voltage lighting right here and it's really safe that's a awesome thing about modern lighting is we get to go low voltage it's essentially 12 volts remember the old 9 volt batteries they stick on your tongue well maybe you didn't but I'm kind of stupid and I did it's three more volts than that so it's actually it's really safe even if you see bare copper it's nothing to worry about this stuff's made to be incredibly safe so the, the interesting thing about doing falls is when we're excavating it, it looks like it looks like we're excavating stair steps. When we're done with one of our ponds, it's such a natural looking thing, but often when we're excavating it, it looks geometric. So there are 90 degree angles, walls, stairs going into the berm, but final project it's going to be an organic shape it's going to be natural looking waterfalls coming down i'm looking at this thing right now and i'm so excited this like this is going to be off the chain beautiful i can't wait till they get all the landscape so this is our intake bay right here and the cool thing about the intake bay is traditionally we've used skimmers and skimmers are on the side of the pond it's like a pool skimmer, right? So debris gets uh, pulled into the pool skimmer. There's a basket in there. You take the lid off and, and you throw the debris out. We still use those on a lot of ponds and they work incredibly well because they're pulling just the top layer of water. So even dust, any organics, we want to keep as many organics out of the pond as possible um, because those contribute to algae blooms. So we like using intake bays because what it's doing is it's not only creating a more natural look than a skimmer, but we're adding biological filtration in here. So it, it I, just, I really like them. Uh, they're more work, it's more expensive, um, and it takes a little more room. But if the budget's there, I say go intake bay all the way. We have shelves on the pond. We've got one right there, one right there. We're limited on the width of this. I usually like having a lot more shelf, but he wanted more depth than width on the pond. And so we're still gonna have a good volume of water, but the awesome thing about shelves is that's where we're planting our marginal plants. So we wanna have just a bunch of variety of marginal plants. Cool thing about the intake bay is we can plant some of those plants in the intake bay and uh, we're also going to put them in the wetland filter. So the great thing about plants and ecosystem ponds is we're getting rid of the ammonia that the fish are excreting. It goes through the whole biological process of how we construct these things. It ends up with nitrates. Plants love nitrates. Algae is a plant. 
algae loves nitrate. So we use decorative plants to outcompete the stuff we don't want, which is the algae, the single-celled algae, which makes water green. So there's the whole science behind it. But I won't geek out too hard. What we have down there is we're cleaning the pond out. So there's a lot of rock dust we get in the boulders themselves when we're building and stuff like that. So usually what we do is we fill the pond up, rinse stuff down, pump the whole thing out again. And that, that really helps kind of get ahead of getting rid of the organics in the pond. The other thing that happens with ponds when we first build them, especially in summertime, is it'll go through a green phase. So it's totally normal. It's just ponds go through an awkward phase, just like all animals, you know? Humans particularly, think about puberty, remember that? It was awkward. This thing's gonna go through those awkward stages too. You're gonna get bright green on the rocks, and even though I tell people, they freak out and they forget and they call me up and they say, man, there's something wrong with my pond, but it's just developing. So that bright green is eventually gonna turn dark. So your rocks, even though they're pretty, when we first fill it up, it's gonna turn dark. That's the biofilm on the rocks and that is coveted. That's what you want. We've got pictures of our pond so gin clear water and then the rocks are dark and that's the biofilm want that biofilm it's really important for the ecology of the pond but don't freak out you can kind of see it coming down like this it's got a nice curve to it there's some big boulders um, when we finish you won't see any liner you won't see anything unnatural looking I can't wait till we get to that stage when we're building because I just don't like seeing the liner a lot of customers get really concerned because they see the liner while we're still building and then they'll come out and be like are we gonna see that liner? No, I promise, we're not gonna see the liner. I hate looking at liner. You're not gonna see the foam, it's incomplete. It's gonna be this beautiful, natural looking fall coming down. There's gonna be plants all around here. The pump will be hidden. We'll probably use a, a fake rock that goes over it and then plants in front of it. And we went deep because he wants to put koi in here. Even though it doesn't look that big, it's going to be a good volume of water in here. This is a, a really well structured pond. People worried because we're, we're not using mortar but there's still stone walls that were built like a thousand years ago. Not saying these guys are that good but they're pretty darn good. We will use polyurethane foam to act as a mortar and, um, and that, that keeps things in place as well. The cool thing about this project is if you're local, you may be familiar with the Bolsa Chica wetlands. The homeowner was the chief biologist in charge of that project of flooding the wetlands. It was dry for a very long time and he actually, at the beginning of his career, started in on this project, I think like in the 60s or 70s. So he retired after they finally opened up the gates and got all the old wetlands flooded again and it's worked really well. So the interesting thing was I had to talk him into doing some of the things that we're doing here. He wasn't sold on the wetland construction and well, the guy's a very seasoned biologist, so I know a couple things about this and talked it over and hashed it out um, and here we are. I'm excited. It's gonna be a really good project. So, these guys work so hard. What people don't understand about these projects is they think, and I get it, you know, you're just digging a hole and throwing a tarp in there, but there's so much more to it. It's more expensive than building a pool, gallon per gallon. We have to hand stack each and every rock. We have to create a system in which it's a balanced ecosystem. It's a lot easier to just kill something than to keep something thriving. In pools, you're just throwing chlorine in there and you're just killing everything. We have to have an ecology here, so many different animals and bacteria. I mean, there's, there's thousands of different strains of bacteria that need to live in harmony for this thing to work. It's complicated, but we make it simple. And just after doing this for 16 years, and we know how to do that. I love this stuff. I've been doing it forever, and I've learned from the best of best. And that's all I got. Enjoy life. <laughs>